Hi, I'm Federico Federaro, and you maybe know me from my YouTube channel, from my Facebook page, Amazing Math Stuff. During the five days of the workshop, I'm going to cover different topics related to making visuals inside the software Max MSP. And uh, I'm going to start from a really ground level and uh, I will go up to quite an advanced level introducing topics like uh, working with JavaScript inside the Max for the visuals, uh, working with the GLSL shaders and uh, working, for example, also with uh, devices like the Kinect and we are going to cover the computer vision library and uh, the physics library. So when I'm talking about shaders, I'm talking about creating and manipulating three-dimensional objects and manipulating their textures, so how do they actually look like by using this language called the GLSL that is a language that you can write in Max and it runs su uh, super fast. During the workshop I'm also going to cover JavaScript inside Max. JavaScript is a programming language usually used uh, for that web developing, but it's a fairly good uh, programming language for general purpose. For example, in this, um, in this patch I'm using the JavaScript code to create a particle system with lines that connect each particle um, and I'm using and I'm doing this uh, using four loops and this would be quite difficult to do inside uh, the normal Max environment. You can bring your Kinect and we are going to interface Max MSP with the Kinect and create uh, for example particle system that reacts to the position of your hands of, uh, of your body uh, for example, this can be used uh, when working with uh, dancers or uh, um, theater. And we are going to see uh, the OpenCV library that can be used for similar purposes. This is a library that is used for uh, face recognition. Uh, it works with cameras and is used for face recognition and hands recognition. And we are going to see the physics library that is, that is already inside Max and that can be used to build interesting simulation of world physics. Uh, for example, collision between objects and uh, simulation of force fields and uh, voids and simulation of swirl. The thing that I particularly like is to work with the sound and visuals, so to create interactive uh, visuals that uh, react to the sound that is coming inside your computer or that is generated by your computer. For example, I created this system that uh, visualized uh, music generating random shapes and interacting with, uh, reacting to the beat of the music.